Right, well I've already covered uh, what this sheet uh, was being used for when I was uh, marking out uh, the speaking lengths for this bridge. Um, but what we're going to do today is we're going to be working on the base bridge. Now something that you can't really take in, uh, appreciate with this sheet is that on the computer that this program was calculated from it also shows up uh, the various tensions and breaking strains uh, of each individual note as well. And what it was showing is uh, on the bass bridge was that uh, it had too many uh, mono strings because on the bass bridge, bridge obviously you've got monos up to a certain point and then they cross over to bichords and then when you go onto the treble bridge you sometimes get a couple of bichords down here and then you get three strings all the way up. Um, what it was showing us on the program was that there was uh, an indiscrepancy on how many uh, bichords, where the bichords stopped and changed over to monos. So what we're doing is we're extending how many monos are on this piano. Oh, sorry, how many bichords? Yeah, I'm getting it wrongly around. Phil's here. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, Phil's here as well, because <laughs> Phil's going to be the one that's... Uh, doing this work today um yeah it had too many that's right it had too many monos in so we're turning them to buy chords so we're doing that not by putting an extremely large pin in that is so that we can plug the hole we're, we're drilling down the original holes uh far larger and then we're plugging the holes and uh we're doing that with there we go We've got hammer shank made out of the same material as the base bridge. Knurl it so that it's a tight fit, and also because it's roughening up the uh, the wood so that it uh, gets a nice glue joint, and and the glue will actually bind into the wood of the shank better. And then that goes down the hole. And what this video is going to be, I'm going to have to do this video in three different stages actually because uh, the first step is to do what we've just done just now. And the next step after that is to saw it off. Like so. Now when they are uh, fully dry Huh? Set. Set. <laughs> when they're fully set, they'll be sanded off and then we'll drill down so that there's two notes on either side. But I'll... We're, going to, we're going to actually tidy this up because the, this is end grain and it's going in the wrong direction. So we're, what we're going to do then is put an 8mm plug over the top like that with the grain running in the right direction but made out of beech. Right. And that will be at stage two. Right. As you can see, I've not done this project before. I've not done this particular job before, so um, it's, a, it's a learning curve for me, this part. So um, that's the next step after this. So I'll come back down and film that uh, tomorrow. tomorrow when the glue's uh, fully gone off. Right. Well, uh, right, so... What we were just saying is that these are protection blocks for the back of the piano because it's not, uh, you know how it's come loose at the back there. Uh, these are... We've got to put a strap all the way around the piano and it's got to go over the front of the piano near the cheeks. And these are to fit in where the cheeks are to protect it from mm. felt off. Right. We're just cutting them out now. Yeah, yeah the straps are going to go all the way around the piano, aren't they? Well, there we go. Uh, next part of the order for this piano has arrived. Here we go with the uh, action uh, brackets as designed by Phil. Ta da! And uh, these, we've set them up with the rails I was talking about last time. And now we've got an action lock. So, as you can see, both rails are just flipped over and then it does both jobs. And, uh, We've got all the individual parts like this, look, 
that slots into there and even I didn't know until just just now this line that's been cut into them uh, is actually the line of the uh, the screw holes for where to screw the hole uh, screw the uh, screw into very cleverly done this oh uh, yeah da, da, da. Right, uh, we've uh, put the new uh, hitch pins in. You can see that one there and that one there uh, to compensate for the uh, extra uh, bicords which I've mentioned before. Uh, that bridge in the end has had a little bit of capping put on because it was uh, not carving very well around that front edge anyway, so uh, the old wood was not particularly carving particularly well, so we've just Put a fresh piece in completely uh, back there as well that's had some new uh, pins put in um, because it's going to have more bicords than monos and uh, that's that's why these has got two 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 and then changes to one down there as well so that's that uh, we're now going to get the frame out get the agraphs out the frame as well because it's having new agraphs uh, clean the frame down ready for spraying that's the next job. We are about to start gluing down the back. Um, I'm not going to have time to film it while we do it because it's both hands on deck but as you can see we've wedged it out. We've got the cascamite all ready and all gloopy. We made it extra thick just so that we know it's going to stick. We've got the newspaper down on the floor. We've got the clamps ready at the correct height. We're, we've got the gloves ready and uh, all protected. This is it. The back is about to be reattached. And there you go with the uh, the clamps on and the strap around the piano. Clamping in to that edge again and as you can see this strap goes all the way around the piano and is supported at the front by that bar. So it's all ratcheted up and that's what those uh, little cutouts are made for to sit in there so that it's got a nice straight edge to clamp onto all the way around there and that's obviously bringing that edge back in bridge is getting carved out that's where we've got up to Way through the holes with the chisel. to do. On the plus side the back of the piano is now glued. Good join down there again. Great success. And as for me, today that's my job. I've been keying the frame, sanding it back a little bit, sending off the top coats uh, so that it's ready for re-gilding and uh, hopefully get uh, that started today. Looks proper like a bridge. And carved. Can't complain with that, can you? Yes. <laughs> You're in the carving. <laughs> well, yeah, I suppose there is that.